So this is my attempt to demonstrate this, putting my fingers where they'd interlace just like two pieces of a jigsaw and how they might fit together. So here at this point I have interlaced my fingers in that metaphorical way of the jigsaw fitting together. So you're on your horse, magic has happened, he's come onto the bit, he's come up through his back, he's reached into the rain, and you have found a way of organizing yourself where everything you're doing is right enough to get this response from him. And then something happens, maybe he sees something outside the arena, and something happens, and he changes his jigsaw puzzle piece shape. So as I've moved my hands here, I've moved the one hand and the other hand has kind of moved to adapt to the change of the first hand. So here the jigsaw's distorted itself. So this is implying that the rider, probably without even, even knowing she did it, has colluded with the change that the horse makes. So let's say what happens in my arena is people ride towards the car park, which is where things happen, and the horse goes, what's going on in the car park? It pricks his ears, puts his nose up, goes up periscope, the back goes down, the rider doesn't even know she's done it, she's colluded with the change in his jigsaw shape. So what will happen is in him hollowing his back, he will have made a man trap, she fell backwards down that man trap. So all of us are like a chain that's as strong as its weakest link and we all give way in our weakest link. So the round backed way would be the horse scrunched his head and neck back to her. He did what I call pushing back at you and you give way in your middle and become a round backed rider. The hollow backed version of the chain as strong as its weakest link would be the horse scrunches his neck backwards. He pushes back at you his back hollows, and you as a hollow-backed rider, your butt slides out behind you as your back hollows, and you disappear down the man trap. You might respond by just leaning forward, kind of ending up in jumping position and sliding down the man trap that way, or maybe you'll topple backwards. So somewhere between the hinge of the hip joint and the hinge in the, lower spine, and the lumbar spine, you will be like a chain that gives way in its weakest link and colludes with a horse like this. Whereas what we want is you and the horse have this way of fitting together. The horse, like one of my hands here, goes to change its shape and the other hand says, I'm sorry, I don't budge. And if you can effectively say, I'm sorry, I don't budge. This is my jigsaw shape. This is my framework. The horse is left going, oh shucks. And if you don't change your shape, he can't change his shape. And of course, perception is a really big part of that. So let's suppose him going really well is a 10 out of 10. And he goes to look at whatever or something spooks him or something. And he goes 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. And the question is, at what point do you notice? Because if he goes 10, 9 and a half, and you notice and you respond, it'll be a little discussion between you and him that reinstates your jigsaw shape. In fact, you barely lost your jigsaw shape on a nine and a half. And you and the horse know you had this discussion, but with any luck, the dressage judge doesn't. And if it goes 10, 9, 8, 7, it's going to be a harder fix. And if it goes down to four, three, two, you've got to dig yourself out of big trouble. It's so cruel, isn't it? Because the art of riding lies in making the horse easy to ride. But when these things happen and you're a less experienced, less skilled rider, you need all the help you can get and you're not going to get it. And somewhere, perceptually, you have to get to noticing when things just begin to go wrong. So I will often say to a rider, what's the first thing that lets you know you're going to lose it? That's kind of like saying, what's the first domino to fall within this whole scenario? And quite often the rider will say to me, well, I see his neck come up. 
And that tells me a lot because that tells me that the rider is processing the change in their visual system. Now alongside the neck going up, the back went down, but the rider didn't notice that bit. Her feel sense, her sense of that jigsaw and how it fits together completely bypassed the back goes down to just seeing the head come up. 